The cloud is a model, it's not a place, and it will go across different technologies. All of this stuff feels a little bit sort of like you can't quite touch it, it's not quite tangible. Um, but that's also the amazing part about it is that you can imagine anything and really do it. The stat is that within the last um, 18 months, 99% of all the data that exists in the world was created, right? So it's just growing at phenomenal rates. You don't all have to be data scientists because we create a great portfolio of products that allow you to plug into these services right now. Cognitive services, text, vision, search, language translation. These are all things that you can build without being a developer. There's a whole bunch of code out there. There's a whole bunch of solutions. Democratizing uh, AI is all about helping, is simplifying those tools so that they're accessible to, to all the, you know, the, the folks that we're helping out and it doesn't have to be as scary as people think. We can all start using this technology in lots of different capacities. Microsoft has taken some um, stance and guidance on, on our AI as well, and they have an ongoing council that actually looks at how we evolve this and what we actually use and don't use for our AI models. You know, in the past, it was always the big companies with the most money and the most equipment that would get the biggest jobs and the biggest things, but the cloud really democratizes that. So it's really a case of, if you can dream it, you can build it, and there's very little risk. It's an amazing time to, you know, imagine the possible and change the world.